What kind of teenager were you? I was a pretty happy child. I had some pains growing up because my father had passed um, when I was 12 years old, so that definitely took an effect on me as a kid. At 14 years old, Jennifer Aro says she was lost, and she believes a female recruiter for Jeffrey Epstein looked to exploit that vulnerability when the woman approached her outside her performing arts school in New York in 2001. She's saying, where are you from? Just asked me kind of personal questions, and I just thought, like, okay, so somebody's just trying to get to know me. It was the beginning of what she says was a grooming process that eventually led her to Epstein and his New York City and mansion. So, you know, she's saying he's very powerful, he's very wealthy, he's a great guy, he's like almost like a fatherly figure to her, which had meaning for me at that time because I was maybe longing for that, which I was. So I just eventually trusted her. When you went there the first time, why did you think you were going? How did she have you go there? More of just like a mentor almost, a, um, somebody that could help me. Saying like, you know, he's helped me, I've struggled. Like almost like she was similar to me. A Rose says the recruiter was with her when she first started visiting Epstein, who showered her with compliments. And during most visits, she says his secretary would give her $300 or leave the money for her in a drawer. So by the time you went there alone for the first time, was there a certain trust that had built up? For sure, yeah. I didn't feel like I had anything to fear. I felt almost like a, a friend, you know? I didn't do anything for me not to trust him. I felt okay. I felt totally fine going there. Did you ever think, why does this older man yeah, no, I did. want to hang out with a 14-year-old? I did, but I didn't overanalyze it because I did and I didn't care, really, because I just knew that I was young i you know needed the money he was i thought maybe just he needed c companionship i wasn't sure what it was i really didn't ask any questions so the first time you went there alone is that when something sexual happened for the first time he brought me up to the upstairs room which had the massage room and he would tell me like i want to show you my favorite room in the house i guess he was getting more comfortable and afterwards he basically said uh transitioned into, you know, do you give good massages? Promises to help her become a model or actress and help her family financially also kept her coming back, she says, even after he began sexually abusing her. I wasn't thinking this is belittling. I was just a lost kid, you know, so I just, it just seemed okay, I don't know. And he, had suggested he might help you. Yeah. Sort of this promise hanging over all of that. Yeah, so I just, I said, this could only be beneficial, you know? This, this is a good thing just to get through, you know? So it could, it, it'll get easier, it'll get better. So I just kept on going. Yeah. It was a process, it, it was. sounded like. It was. Yeah, it, w it wasn't an overnight thing. And that's why I feel like it was like really well thought out, you know, well, kind of planned, you know, to, to really make me feel as comfortable as possible, to almost keep me coming back. I didn't really think, you know, that, you know, her and him would conspire to have me go there to do such weird things, you know, that ended up happening. A rose drawn into a world she says others around Epstein facilitated. Do you think those around him, if they knew, do you want them to be held responsible? I never honestly even thought about that. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, yes, there's a lot of people that you could point fingers and blame, you know, but I'm not blaming anybody. I'm sure they knew, though. That's more on their conscience. Now that she's speaking out, Aro says she has found her strengths. I know that um, I'm doing the right, the right thing, and I'm, I feel good about it. I feel good. I feel brave. I feel strong more than ever right now. Do you feel afraid of him? No, I don't. Not anymore. I'm done with that. <laughs>